the list of values in your dropdown is very long and you also want the end user to be able to select multiple values, you may want to implement a dropdown tag. In this video, I'll show you how to implement it. So this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application. I have an entity called customer with these attributes and I have bootstrap this with sample data. I'll clearly go ahead and create the screen. So the way it's implemented is very similar to implementing a dropdown or a dropdown search. So I'm just giving a name, drop down tag, and then building the query. So you can right click on the screen, patch data from database, which is where I'm going to build a query to get the list of customers like that. And then going back to the screen to implement dropdown tags. So just look for this and it's available here. I'm going to drag and drop it here. So the way it works, uh, when the user is typing the customer name, I think in my example, it will keep on showing those tags here, which they can then add or remove. Uh, some of those actions can be taken. So we'll do it step by step. So query is here, drop down tag is here from the widget here. And then now we have to bind it to the, uh, the query. So these two, we have to bind together. So go inside, get customer query is here, the list. Ignore the error, we just have to bind it. Text will be the customer name and perhaps the value could be the customer ID. You also have these values that you can configure, like uh, maybe the no results. Customer found. And search prompt, select a, or maybe type a customer name. Cool. And uh, the most important part is the handler. This is where you can take action. You can write some logic whenever the value or the selection is being made. In this case, the output of the selection would be available in this list. It's of type dropdown item list. The list of selected values is available here. What we can do as a shortcut, I can copy this, paste at the screen level uh, like this. It became input parameter, which I don't want. That's why the error. I can convert it to a local variable, so the error is gone. I'm not changing the name, so it's the same name here. But with this available on the screen, then I can use this value in my form, save it in record, database, and things like that. How to get the value from the selection? Just drag and drop this here, so we get the assignment operator. Left-hand side is current item list to this one, and we'll assign it the value of the current list from the code, from this client action. That's it. Uh, then we go back to the screen. Perhaps we can display the current list, so we can see what values are coming there. And that's how you implement it. I'm going to publish the application and show you the outcome. So it's ready. Let's go ahead and launch it. This is the app, uh, the screen. Uh, I should have put some margin there. This one is the list and this is the drop down tag. If I click on this, I'm able to select multiple values. I can remove also. There's a property if you want to configure, not to allow users to remove it, you can do so. But the whole list is here. You can type the name, you can search for it, like hand read, and do the selection. That's how you implement a drop down tag. Thanks for watching.